This is the activity series lab with single replacement reactions. Uh, in this lab we're going to have three different metals. So we have copper in this first column. In the second column we have magnesium. In the third column we have zinc. And then going across in the rows we're going to be putting in different solutions. The first one will be copper sulfate going into both of these wells. Uh, magnesium sulfate going into this row. Zinc nitrate in this row. Silver nitrate in this row. And hydrochloric acid in the bottom row. We're going to be seeing uh, 12 different single replacement reactions and by looking at which reactions take place and which ones do not, we'll be able to determine an activity series for these five metals. Uh, so in this first row I'm mixing copper sulfate with the uh, magnesium and zinc metals. I skipped that first box because that would be mixing copper sulfate with copper and no reaction would occur when you're mixing copper with itself. On the second row here, I'm doing magnesium sulfate. So I'm mixing the magnesium sulfate with copper and then with zinc. Our third row, I'll need to add zinc nitrate. Uh, fifth, fourth row will be silver nitrate. And then our bottom row is hydrochloric acid. All right, and then we can take a look and see what reactions took place. Uh, you can see the, the most obvious reaction is right here, probably with the hydrochloric acid and the magnesium. We have kind of rapid bubbling. That's hydrogen gas being produced. Uh, over here with the zinc, we have a similar reaction taking place. You can see some bubbles starting to form on the zinc. Those are also hydrogen gas in a similar reaction. Uh, in this one, when the copper is mixed with the hydrochloric acid, we actually see no reaction. So that tells us that copper is lower on the activity series. It's less reactive than hydrogen. Uh, in this row with the silver nitrate, we can see that they're starting to form this uh, kind of blackish gray coating on the copper metal, uh, also forming on the magnesium and zinc metals as well. So that's silver metal that's actually coming out of the solution the uh, metal that was present, the copper, the magnesium, or the zinc, is actually going into the solution. So we have single replacement reactions taking place in these three wells. Uh, right here with the copper metal uh, and the uh, zinc nitrate solution, we have no reaction taking place. Uh, in this box right here, we do have a reaction taking place. The, it's kind of hard to see, but the zinc, is, the zinc nitrate is slowly being replaced by the magnesium. You can see a little bit of black coating going on the outside of the uh, magnesium metal. That's zinc coming out of the solution. In this row right here with the magnesium sulfate solution, we have no reaction. The copper metal is just as it was, sitting in the magnesium sulfate solution. Uh, in this box right here, we have no reaction taking place either. So the zinc metal is unaffected by the mag magnesium sulfate solution. Uh, and then in this first one, we have a reaction taking place here. You can see that the uh, magnesium is going, going into the solution. You can see it's starting to be coated by a uh, copper coating on the outside of the magnesium metal. And you can see a reaction taking place here as well. The uh, zinc metal is being coated by copper, and the zinc is starting to go into the solution. And so using this information, you should be able to write balanced equations for the single replacement reactions that took place, and then you should be able to put uh, copper, magnesium, zinc, silver, and hydrogen in order from most reactive to least reactive as they are on the activity series.